Hi, this is James Van Prague, spiritual medium. Many of you recognize me because I've been doing this work for over 30 years now, being the voice of spirit and providing comfort and evidential messages of life after death and how to live a spiritual life in this physical world. I've also written many books, which a lot of you have read, and of course, my online community, as why you're seeing this now. I'm also a radio host of Talking to Spirit on Hay House Radio. It's such an honor to work with you and to bring this information to you because it's not my information, it's mine to share, it's, and you're ready for it, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But every single person, every single human being goes through what we call grief, loss. We lose people here in the physical earth. That's part of our uh, experience down here in physical earth, school earth. And grief is not easy, grief is very, very hard. But the spirit people want you to know always there is no such thing as death, that they're still around you. The love bonds created on the earth between you continue on, and they've just stepped out of the body, but they're right next to you all the time. They're just a thought away. It's not like they've gone forever. They're with you, and sometimes even more now than they were able to be in the physical. They're just a thought away. So what you have to do really is just shift your awareness, just shift your focus, just out of the awareness of your brain, of the human mind to the side, and give them space to come in very subtly, very sensitive, very much like a feather on the wind, little subtle messages, and they will send you impulses. They will send you feelings, emotions, and thoughts, and let you know that they're fine. Every single person is a medium in their own right. Why do I say that? Because every one of us is a spirit. We don't become a spirit when we leave the physical, we're a spirit now. So if you can perfect just listening to the other side of the spirit outside the body, bringing that spirit into your own spirit, you are doing mediumship. You're able to receive thoughts and impressions and influences. The word inspire means in spirit. So every one of you has inspirations, every single one of you. Sometimes it's just a matter of giving yourself permission to hear, permission to feel, permission to see things you've never seen before, permission to go on a journey, a spiritual journey of insight that you'd never thought possible. So today, I'd like to share with you the most important keys for you to connect with the spirit world around you. They are ready, are you? The first step I wanna share with you is be yourself. So as a medium, the first thing you really want to do is have a connection with self, with your own spirit, your own source because it is through you that the spirit world comes through. The more one knows themselves, the easier it is to recognize somebody else. So how do we do that? Well, meditation would be the first step, closing our eyes and having a relationship with our spirit, who we are, know who we are, feel who we are, what's important to us, know our own spirits, enjoy our own spirits, understanding ourselves, that's number one. Never ever try to be like somebody else. You can never be like somebody else. You are a unique spiritual individual and you're that way for a very strong reason. You came back on this earth with your own spiritual blueprint and now is your time to put that blueprint into work. And I wanna tell you the best way to do that is to laugh with yourself. At least once a day, find something very funny about yourself. Don't take yourself or life too seriously. Believe me, you don't need to take it seriously. The more light, the more fun, the more amusement, and the more joy which you have within yourself, you're giving that to the spirit world to use. You're giving them more energy. So be yourself, be nobody else but yourself. The next key I wanna share with you is this. After you have a sense of yourself and your own identity and your enjoyment of self, what I want you to start to feel from the bottom of your toes all the way to the top of your head and beyond is a sense of excitement, a sense of a bubbling sensation of who you are, just bubbling up inside you, this energy, just building and building, building this power, building up your power, awareness of self, and just sizzling straight up. That excitement, that joy, because it is that excitement and that joy, that power that you will use to sustain your links with the spirit world. Very, very important to have that sense of power and that strength and to bring up that frequency, bring up that energy to a certain point and sustain it. So bring up the joy. Another key and a very important key is to quiet the mind. 
So many of us are so involved with the human chatter on a day-to-day -day basis. What's going on all around us with social media and telephones and televisions and what's going on. It gets so caught up in our heads in the human part of us. Remember, your spirit mind is not the human mind. You have your spirit and you have the human. Two very different things. So what you want to do is quiet your human mind and go within. How do we do that? We do that through focus, through meditation, contemplation, prayer, closing your eyes and going within, going into your heart space, feeling your own spirit, feeling the joy of your own spirit, having that relationship with your spirit. That's really what you want to foster and encourage on a daily basis. The next key I want to share with you is focus. So if you as a medium and instrument are aware of your inner self, of your spirit divine self, the next thing I want you to be mindful of is the mind. The mind is not just within the physical body. The mind goes way beyond this physical body. So I want you with your eyes closed to just place your thoughts, your mind on a space to one side of the room as far as you can and build up that space with your mind energy. Become aware of that space, how it changes the more you put yourself there and project yourself there and just stay there for a little bit and see what happens with the atmosphere around that space, around your mind. And then try with your eyes still closed to the other side of the room, the other corner of the room and try to become aware of the atmosphere in that corner of the room. What does it feel like? What are the characteristics of it? I want you to project your mind that far out, that far away, that you become aware that you own that space and that space. And I just want you just to be mindful that you're outside the body, you're in the mind and you're outside. That is a relationship that you want to begin and foster, a very, very important one to have in mediumship. Here's a vital key for mediumship and one you've probably never heard of before, but I'm going to share it with you today. Remember, when a spirit comes through to communicate with you, they speak in a very, very fast vibration, very fast frequency. So they'll speak very, very quickly. So you know that you have a link with the spirit world if they just speak quickly. They speak. There should be no pause and no rest in between what they're saying. Got that? So I know that I'm in a, a stream of consciousness because it's going so quickly and that's really where you want to go. You do not want to think of the next word. It just flows right through you. So it's a stream of consciousness. There should be no pauses. There should be no breaks. If there is a pause or a break, that tells me that you cannot sustain that link with the spirit people and you have to try over again and sustain the link. Build up your power and make that happen. And here's another key. This is one of my favorite ones, which I've done for many, many years. When I first started my mediumship, I would do this on a regular basis and it really helps to really shift your awareness. Remember, mediumship is shifting the awareness, shifting your focus, getting out of this mental earth mind into your spirit mind. So a great key for that is what I call transfixation. Transfixation is where you look at an object and you get transfixed by it. For instance, I would use a candle and I'll light the candle and I'll gaze into the candle flame and I become one with that candle flame. I become smaller and smaller into the candle flame. It becomes larger and I try to become that candle flame. I feel everything I can about that flame. I feel the heat. I feel the value of it. I feel the expansion of it. I feel the color of it. I feel the emotion of it. And after a while, just probably within five minutes, you'll begin to become more mindful and more aware of yourself outside of the physical. It's much easier then to do your mediumship. So transfixation is a great one. You don't necessarily need a candle. You can do it with a rose. You can do it with any object. You can even do it at the floor. Just stare at a place on the floor and just become transfixed. Go within that space. Try to get to the other side of that space. It's all done with your mind. So here's a great key. And remember the, what this is all about is trying to get your mind to become the mind of the spirit. Spirit. When the spirit people come to you, they're using your mind. So it's mind to mind communication. Basically, their spirit is blending with your spirit, mind to mind. So the more you can open up your mind and go into their world, become one with them in their world and understand their world and how they live and how they communicate, the better. So in a mind journey, which is what I call this, you will just close your eyes and bring yourself to a space in the spirit world 
to send out the intention that you're going to go to a space in the spirit world and I want you to make that space. Let them guide you. Let the spirit world show you something you've never seen before in the physical world. And just let them guide you, whoever it is. Maybe it's somebody you know in the spirit form, a family member, uh, a relative, or maybe it's your guide, whoever it might be. Let them show you a certain area, space you've never seen. Perhaps it's some kind of a garden you've never seen. And once you get there, I want you to look all around you and take it in. Take it in. Be the natural detective and try to figure out what this is all about. Why does this flower look this way? What color is this? Why are they showing me this color? And you can also, along this journey, talk to the spirit. Invite them in and sit with them and have a conversation. Whoever might show up to you, just say, hi, what's your life like here in the spirit world? Tell me what more about the spirit world. And I want you to find out things from their point of view. That is the exercise. From their point of view, what is the world like from them? Another one, which is great, is once you're there and you're established in the spirit land, I want you to, if you can ask the spirit, perhaps hold your hand and bring you personally down to the earth level and try to communicate with an earthling as they would communicate with an earthling and let them show you the process that they have to go through mentally, emotionally, physically to come down to the earth and try to transmit a thought and a feeling. I believe that you're going to have a whole new appreciation for spirit communication and mediumship. Again, these things don't happen just quickly. It's a process. So with this exercise, with this key, just try it over and over again to you perfect it, to feel comfortable with it. And here's something fun I came up with for you to do the next few days. Um, every day, you'd like to try this. It's a great focus exercise, a uh, great awareness exercise. I do it every day in my own way, very similar to this. Um, what I suggest you do is in the morning, maybe go out of your place that you live in and pick a focus point. Perhaps it's a flower, one particular flower. I just want you to go to that flower and focus your mind on that flower. Almost become that flower with your mind. How does the flower feel? What emotional feelings you get from it? What does it look like? What do the colors tell you? Get everything you can from that flower. And that's it. Okay. Now, then you're going to send out a thought to the spirit world. And you're going to say to the spirit world, I want you to give me a word, one word today, along my whole day today, that I need to know about. Just give me a word today in my travels throughout the day I need to know about. Okay? Then throughout the day, I want you to focus. Once they drop that word into your mind, you'll get the word. I want you to see how often that word shows up in your travels during the day. It might show up in many different ways. For instance, you might be speaking with somebody and they bring up that word. Or you might be driving a car and there it is on a sign. Or you might see it on a building. Or you might see it on someone's t-shirt. So just notice. So it's an awareness exercise for you to notice that one word. At the end of that same day, I want you to go back to that focus point you started with in the morning and focus again, let's say, on the flower. Go back into that focus awareness. And then I want you, as you're going back and becoming that flower, that focused awareness, I want you then to ask the spirit world, what is it that you had to learn about that one word? Why did they give you that one word today? What is it about that one word that you had to learn about? What elements, what essence, what lessons? about that one word. I hope you've enjoyed these keys. Each one is a very small nugget of a vast online mediumship certification course, which I'll be unveiling soon. And I hope you take that journey with me. If you would, please comment in the space below about the keys that I shared with you today and let me know which ones you like the most and which ones you want to explore even more, because we'll do that. And please share this video with any of your friends or any people that you know who would like to make contact with their loved ones on the other side. I do this for love, for them, to help them. So if you know anyone that this can help service, please share it with them. Thank you for joining me today. On our next video, I'm going to give you the most powerful steps of how to meet your own spiritual guides. This is James Van Prague, your spiritual guide of the James Van Prague School of Mystical Arts, and I'll see you soon.